Today I'm going to walk you through Google Drive. Here at Tampa Prep you will find that you, you will use Google Drive quite a bit. We use it to back up all of your notability files. You can upload your photos and videos from your iPad to free up space. You can create new documents, share new documents, and collaborate with your peers on group classwork. It's extremely useful. To log into Google Drive, the first time you open it, you will be prompted to enter your Tampa Prep email address and password. We will walk you through how to set up Notability to back up on Google Drive during the first week's training. Go ahead and open Google Drive by tapping the icon, and you should see something like this after you've already logged in. If you tap the three lines in the upper left hand corner, that's called the hamburger, you can see your drive, any team drives teachers may have set up, shared with me, recent, starred or important items, items you've been able to offload onto your device, access items you've trashed, notifications, access help and feedback, and verify your storage. But the most important thing to note is what's on the very bottom of the screen on the left-hand side. Please make sure that you are logged in with your Tampa Prep email address. Some of you may have personal Gmail addresses that you've set up on your device prior to your arrival at Tampa Prep, or you've switched over to that personal account during the summer. Just make sure that you are logged in with your correct account. If you'd like to create a new folder on Google Drive, please locate the blue button with the plus sign on it in the lower right hand corner and tap it. And here you have options to create new folders, upload photos, videos, or documents from your device, access your camera on your device, create a new Google Doc, a new, new Google spreadsheet, or a new Google slide presentation. If you'd like to create a new folder, tap Folder and you'll be prompted to enter a new name for your folder. I'm going to call it Test and Create. And you should see it appear in your list of folders on your device. If you would like to upload something from your device, you tap the plus sign and select Upload, and you can access all of your photos and videos and upload from there on your camera roll, or you can select Browse and upload a presentation. As it's uploading, you'll see one of one uploading across the bottom of your screen, and you'll receive a notification when the upload has completed. If you Scroll back down. At the very top, under Quick Access, you'll see the documents or spreadsheets that you've accessed most recently. You can search for documents by tapping the magnifying glass, and you can search by file type or by date modified. If I tap that grid, the six square grid, or nine yeah, six square grid, I can change the appearance of all my files into grid mode or I can revert back to list mode. The next A to Z will filter or sort all of your items by name, last modified, how much storage space is used, how large the files are, or last opened by me. And lastly, the three dots. If I tap the those three dots, I can select an individual item, or I can select several items and move them to a new location. Now if I tap that hamburger on the upper left hand side again, I can tap shared with me and see all of the documents that have been shared with me. If I tap on recent, I can see the things I've opened most recently on my iPad. If I tap starred, these are things I've marked as important. Offline, I don't have any offline files on this device, but if you do, they're here and I can see what I have thrown away recently. Um, it's good to check this folder because sometimes things inadvertently appear in here. I can tap my Google Drive settings, the gear icon and enable notifications. I can 
display a Google Photos folder. I can automatically put my Google folders into a folder on my drive. Um, I can enable quick access and I can open browsers in Chrome and Safari. It gives me choices on things I want to do. So Google Drive is very useful because you can access it from any device, anywhere, any time. So if your iPad dies and you only have a phone, you can still go online and access Google Drive and therefore access all of your notability documents on Google Drive. You can log in on a PC, you can log in on a laptop, running any Linux, Windows, Mac, it doesn't matter which. Documents are always available anywhere, anytime, and you have the ability to create new documents, new spreadsheets, or new slide presentations anywhere, anytime. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to come see me about it.